Debian versus Arch. These are two giant distributions. Almost everything's based off of both of these when it comes to desktop Linux. And they're two fantastic distributions. One's not better than another for everyone. Uh, but I'm just going to lay out kind of the differences between the two so you can choose. So let's get into this. Now, before I begin, I do live stream over on Twitch Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So be sure and go over there. If you want to ask me a question, be sure and drop in chat. Uh, ask me a question. I love getting questions on the live stream no matter what I'm doing. So uh, feel free to look me up over there. And with that, let's jump into Debian versus Arch. And we're going to start with Debian because it is kind of like the granddaddy of all. Uh, most of everything is based on Debian, Ubuntu, KDE Neon. Pop OS, there's so much is based on Debian as a whole, or as the, the base of everything. So I ran Debian for almost six months at the very beginning of this year. So uh, I ran it for quite a while and I love Debian and I always thought of Debian as the most stable operating system. And I'm talking vanilla Debian here and, and it's not as user friendly as like Ubuntu and a lot of other ones that I, I recommend to noobs coming over. But Debian is very, new new user friendly so i always say linux mint pop os uh and kubuntu are like my three top recommendation for someone coming to windows and all of those are is ubuntu based and ubuntu is based on debian and that alone is kind of has so much market share all these guides that have been written over the past 10 years is typically on this branch so if you're new that's why I always recommend this because there's so much support where Arch, it, it hasn't been around nearly as long or not nearly as popular as it's become. And uh, that's kind of a weak spot. That's why I never really recommend a vanilla Arch or a Manjaro right out of the gate for a new user because I want to kind of get their feet wet uh, with the Debian based stuff. And it, Debian is a little bit harder to break. So with the APT package manager, which is a little dated, a lot of the packages are older. Uh, I've seen packages as old as one or two years sitting in here where there's a lot more updates, obviously, on uh, many other package managers like uh, we see in Arch. But uh, Debian's package manager, you have to add repositories to really get the latest and greatest. Otherwise, if you use what's stock or what's just there it doesn't have a huge selection and also it, it's a little limited as far as that now with that it is a lot more curated it is a lot stay it's a lot more stable than than anything else so debian is great in this re re regard so if you're looking for something extremely stable and you don't mind having a little out of date uh, packages debian by far would be my choice now most people know I'm kind of an Arch guy now. I've I've really gone and, and loved Arch Linux just because it's so easy uh, once you get it set up. So obviously Vanilla Arch is a little difficult to set up through there, but Manjaro is based on Arch Linux uh, and it has a lot of the same features and functionality. When I made that video just a, a couple days back about Arch Linux and why you shouldn't break it and how Arch... Uh, basically has some rule sets you need to follow to make sure you don't uh, break your install. These types of things is where Arch kind of falls down a little bit, but once you learn them, it becomes far more powerful than, than Debian because it saves you a lot of time building packages and just doing everything you want to do on your PC. Uh, I think of it as I just throw an Arch base on there and then I can immediately start installing any package I want. And that's really powerful where a lot of times with Debian, you're adding a bunch of repositories and other things. Well, with Arch, you don't just, you just don't get that. Once you get it set up, you have your base, you can install pretty much anything. And that's a positive and a negative as when you're installing things, it's typically the bleeding edge. And that can cause bugs and other things when you're obviously on the latest and greatest. And in my past video, I talked about doing proper backups and these types of things to where if you do have an issue, you can always roll back. And that's really important uh, if you're an Arch user. So, which I am. And after following those rule sets, uh, I like Arch better than Debian today. Uh, because of how easy it makes my life. I, I'm always about productivity and ease of use. And I find any Arch or Arch-based distribution 
is awesome. So if it's not vanilla arch and you want to make the jump over, I always recommend Manjaro because it's just so stinking simple and pretty much anyone can install it. Uh, just make sure you watch that prior video if you do jump over because those rules I, I dictated uh, is pretty much you have to follow. Uh, otherwise, you're going to have some heartache uh, on down. So as far as stability goes, obviously Deb Debian wins, but as far as packages go, Arch is just so much uh, better at finding the latest and greatest without having to change a whole bunch of stuff. That's what makes it awesome. Um, so that's really where I see this going. And when you're comparing distributions, I could go into look and feel and all these other things you see other people cover, but really no distribution looks good to me out of the gate. All of them, I'm like, oh, this annoys me and I change it. So I'm not even going to touch anything other than the base because you should be customizing any distribution you put in. And uh, that's why I don't really want to just jump into those types of things of what you see because it can look far different from, uh, you know, the stock experience. And it should, whether you choose Debian or Arch, my customization routine is pretty much the same. So uh, I don't really see a need for that. But as far as the base distribution, the big differences that you can't change is the package managers. And that is a big thing. And Arch is a rolling distribution where Debian is a stable one. So uh, the rolling uh, typically means you can get an update every single day. Heck, in Arch, sometimes I can get updates two or three times a day if I, if I was so inclined to update that often. Where on Debian, it runs updates about... Uh, you, It'll still get periodic like security updates and stuff, but as far as major Linux kernel updates and those types of things, typically this is done in six month chunks uh, to where they really vet everything. There's a lot more quality control, but at the same time, you're running on older stuff. So that is the differences between Debian and Arch. Debian, older, but more stable. Arch, everything's brand new, bleeding edge, uh, but at the same time, you get a little more bugs with that. Now, I think if you do Arch correctly, it's just as stable as Debian, but you, you basically have to be following those rule sets I laid out. And I personally love Arch just because of the simplicity of adding packages. My actual workflow, what it looks like in Debian is I'm logging in, I'm adding uh, repositories to the APT package manager so I can update and get the latest version of the software that I use on Debian because the, the stuff that's already there is several years out of date. I don't like that. Where in Arch, I just jump in, I hit install, and it installs the latest and greatest package. That's incredibly awesome. And when it comes to gaming, I also lean towards Arch because you have newer drivers, newer um, packages when it comes to like compiling the shaders for games. This makes it just run a lot better, a lot faster. Uh, so that's why I choose Arch if I was bleeding edge. But if I was running a business and I was in a production environment or users that had limited knowledge, Debian would be where I would be at. So it's uh, that's the differences between the two. And I've rambled on a little bit too long on this video, but I love both of these distributions. I want to just reiterate that. And I could use either one. And honestly, at the end of the day, they look exactly the same to me but how they function with the packages is, is a lot different. And the differences between stability when it comes to rolling releases versus stable ones, you got to kind of choose what's right for you. So with all that said, let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. I'm always curious to see what do you guys like, Debian or Arch? Because really, if you're on Ubuntu, all those things, that's just a, a reskin Debian with some extra fluff on top of it. And if you're on Arch, well, you know what to expect. So what's your favorite? And with that said, a big shout out to all my patrons. Without you, I couldn't make videos like this one. And I'll see you in the next one.